G'day everyone, I'm glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember we're taking a look at a little game called Cloud Kingdoms. They're like clouds but in the kingdoms. Wait, no. They're like kingdoms but in the clouds. Keyboard or joystick? Uh, K for keyboard. Up, down, left, right, fire, we'll choose space. Okay, now this one was released in 1990, developed by a Electrobyte and published by Millennium Interactive. It also came out on Amiga, Atari ST computers, and of course, Commodore 64. Let's choose a kingdom. Cloud, kingdom, unseen, quarter, error. Well, let's go with cloud because that's uh, the name of the game, literally. Now, I gotta be honest with you, I have played this before when I was young and I hated it. I hated it so much. I really wanted to like it, but I hate it. I can't even remember what the actual objective is, but I didn't like the way it controlled and the kind of weird top-down view, and I sucked at it. So let's see if I can uh, figure out what exactly I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, okay, great. I think I'm remembering already why I hated this game. <laughs> One of the reasons at least, because stuff like that happens. Okay, so those squares over there, well that square maybe. Oh my god, you piece of shit. There is no way to tell. Like, why did that happen? These uh, tiles looked exactly the same as all the other tiles. Is this one going to be dodgy as well? No? Okay. By the way, uh, I'm noticing a lot of weird stuttering going on with this one, so if it's uh, horrible to watch, I don't blame you for not watching. But uh, sometimes games don't emulate as well as they could. <sighs> anyway. So, oh, this paint thing, I think, lets me create tiles. So let's uh, run across here. Yeah, okay. When you grab one of them, you can run over, like, empty spaces like this. Uh, I think the point of the game might be to get all of these uh, diamond things. Oh, this game is making me sick watching it. What do I do now? Oh, shit. Okay. And uh, keys let me open these little... Uh, you know, segments, these door things. Uh, I think that green bar at the bottom is like my health meter whenever one of these eight balls ah, touches me, it kind of depletes. So I've got to be careful of that as well as falling in pits. Um, okay, another key. Where else can I go? Let's head over here. You can jump over gaps like, whoa, like this. If you're talented enough, but it can be a little tricky at times. Where can I go now? I'll go through here. What do these do? Okay, they push you. Careful, careful, careful. No! Whoa, that was close. Okay, good. Uh, these tiles are slippery, by the way, of course. They're like ice or slippery glass or something. What's that? It's like a can of soda or something? Oh, it gives me my health back. That's good. Oh, that thing lets me fly as well, so I can briefly fly over barriers. Oh, cool! Level completed! Oh my god, that's maybe... <clears throat> Excuse me, further than I've ever gotten in this game before in my life. And I do like the part where you get to choose your own level. Bridge, island, ice, or jumping. Let's do jumping. Jumping's fun, right? This whole video is going to be a test of my patience, really. I don't know. I, uh, something about this game just doesn't click with me. I hate it. I hate it. What did I just get? My guy just... Nope, didn't make me float or anything. He just closed his eyes. Oh, maybe it made me immune to these magnets. No, it looks like I'm immune to the magnets already or something. I don't know what the magnets do. Ah, oh, it stops me from getting hurt by the balls. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Maybe I shouldn't have chose Jumping Kingdom because now i got to do a lot of jumping. <clears throat> I, some freeze is severe. For some reason, I thought it would be uh, something different to just jumping. Like maybe some... Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's let's try this direction here. Where else can I go? I don't need the uh, soda can thingy. Let's just grab me some diamonds and hope we can survive this level. Whoa, careful now. Careful now. What even is my character? It's just like a big tennis ball with pissed off angry eyes. I don't know what the story is of this game either. I, it never really tells you. It just starts you right off in the middle of it. I don't have an instruction manual to read. I guess if I really wanted to, I could research it, but who really cares? I don't know, not me. 
Maybe that's that's wrong, but I don't care. I just want to be a ball and oh, do my bouncing and uh, get this over with as quickly as possible. Uh, because I wanted to do at least one video on every uh, DOS game that I can remember. And of course, this is one of them. Ah, uh, memorable for all the wrong reasons. Hall of Fame. Oh, cool. I get to put my name in. I made. I got more points than Jeff Rob. Jeff and Jeff. Awesome. Fancy. F oh, fancy fool. Shit. Oh, well. And then we go back to the start. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll try one more time. Just, just for you, because I like you so much. Press fire to play. Okay. And because I can do something different. What's Quartet Kingdom? Is it going to be all like a musical and there's like... Oh no, it's like Magnet Central. Okay. Ah, shit. Okay. The magnets mean I can't jump. I should have known that already. No, what? Oh, how am I supposed to do this? I hate this game! How do I get around these things if I can't jump? Goddamn eight balls have it out for me. <laughs> you could say I'm behind the eight ball on this game. <laughs> I can't get out the fur! How do I... Is there some really obvious thing I'm missing? Maybe I'll just try and push my way through one of them or something. This is an unfair way to start a level. Especially when it could be the first goddamn level that you play if you chose it. Imagine if you just bought this game back in the day for like 50 bucks or whatever. And you boot it up and you choose the first level and it gives you this bullshit. Oh my- oh I made it! Yeah! Oh shit! Oh I had a key. Okay good good good. Ah get some soda goodness. Oh okay. Oh no, this is gonna suck. A whole bunch of arrows all pointing towards a hole. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I got the key. What else is down? Okay, get the gem, get the gem. I hate this level. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Now how am I gonna get back through here? The stupid ball nightmare. Ah! No! Oh, you goddamn mother... I don't... Am I some kind of freaking idiot? I don't understand this. I don't understand this. I didn't even... Oh no, I did make the Hall of Fame. Fancy... F fancy... Fee. Oh, there's never ten characters for my name, is there? I never give you ten character spaces. It's always goddamn like six or five or seven. It should be ten. Ten's a nice round number. Fine, let's do Unseen Kingdom. One more, one more, because I'm a masochist, apparently. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything, all the walls are invisible. Yeah, that's fucking perfect. God damn. How do I do... Can I jump over this? Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, great. Okay, that's... Lovely. Who designed this? What kind of sadist designed this game? I hate it. 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 Am I gonna get my ball to the gems? Mm. There's gotta be a way. Don't jump over that. No, I can't go down. Can't go up. Oh, I've had enough of this already. I've had enough. I've had enough. I've had enough of Cloud Kingdoms driving me insane. They should give this to prisoners who they want to torture. I don't know who I'm talking about. Who's they? Corrupt governments? Yeah, you want to torture people, you scumbags? Give them Cloud Kingdoms. God damn it! Look, I've had enough. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hate Cloud Kingdoms. That should be a takeaway from this. But I, I said I'd do a video on it, so here we go. And this is why I hated it. I remember it all now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please give me a like if you like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more later on. And hey, keep it fancy. That gem is stupid. It's stupid.